Father, thank you so very much this morning. It's not just by the matter of speaking that we say we need you every day. No. No, it's just a cliche, you know. A religious talk. No, it's just by word of mouth. But it's a reality that we need you every day. And may you make yourself graciously available unto us. That in seasons of weakness, in seasons of strength, in seasons of God of victory or of failure, in seasons of uncertainty, Lord, you will be for us and with us. We thank you so very much. Your name be praised. Your name be exalted. So very highly this morning. We put our hands, Lord, in in your hand. And we trust you that you will walk with us. The psalmist says that if God be for us, And we thank you with with him, Paul, this morning, that you are with us. And if you are with us, who can be against us? May you may you quicken us and strengthen us. May you build us up. May you bring us to the place of God that your glory will be seen in us. May you be our help. May you strengthen us. We give you all praise and all glory this morning. Everywhere we find ourselves, Father, we commit ourselves into your hand, Lord. In whatever geographical locations we find ourselves, in In whatever time zones we are, be our help. Be our help. And strengthen us. And as one people, we put our hands together, we go for you and with you. That be our help. And be in our midst. And help us. Wash us and replenish us. Grant unto us, Lord, a heart that will be committed unto you fully and completely. Show us mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I... I want us to look at a scripture in Luke chapter 18. In Luke 18, Jesus in from verse 9, from verse 9, the scripture says that And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortionists, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, 
will not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful unto me, a sinner. Verse 14, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. So this is one of the 46 parables that Jesus gave throughout the scriptures. And this one, the Bible says that it is to address the people. Um, I would I would say not just those who think of themselves so highly, but also those who see themselves as nothing. It also gives unto them a shot in the arm. And justifiably so, because the Pharisees were required by law to fast twice a week, and they were required to uphold the tenets of the law. And Paul, in describing his Pharisaic passion and commitment, says that concerning the law, he was blameless. And so this man found himself in a place where he thought he was very qualified to go before God and pray and receive of him. But unfortunately for him, his prayer didn't ascend unto heaven. His prayer, the Bible says that he prayed with himself. So God was not even in the equation. He prayed with himself. So the prayer stopped right where he was. And when he said, Amen, that's where it is. Why? He said things that were true. And he came to God based on things he thought he has. Or that qualifies him. And he even had the opportunity to point his finger at the publican, who everybody knows they add zero or, or do some trouble here and there or or do things that are not expedient. When when they should take ten, they say it's twelve and a half. When they should take 20, they say it's 25. And so, somehow, everybody think of them as sinners, and justifiably so. He would not even lift his head up because his sins condemn him, and also because his thoughts are battling with him. But the worst of all is that voices are speaking his ears. You are right to speak to God. But in spite of that, he opened his mouth and spoke. And what he asked for is what we want to dwell upon this morning. The scripture says that his whole line of prayer his whole line of prayer Was seven words. God have mercy, or God be merciful to me, a sinner. That's all he could say. I think through that and I say this morning. We want to be able to repeat those prayers 
when we we say we will and we do not our own thoughts condemn us so we can say for what I say I will do yet I don't be merciful unto me a disobedient servant I want us to pray this morning for what I say I will not do yet I do be merciful unto me a disobedient servant for why I say I will go yet I do not go be merciful unto me a sinner for why I say I will not go yet I am the first to get there show me mercy Lord show me mercy and I want you to mean these things from the depth of your heart because that is the only thing that will qualify you to go home happier than the one who justifies himself. For what I have promised to do, yet I fail and continually fail to do. May your mercy find me. Extend mercy, Lord. Extend mercy. For what I condemn others for, yet I am more, twice more guilty for it, Lord. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. For what I say to myself, that is beneath me, is beneath me, is not even to be mentioned with my name, and yet I'm the first thereof. Show me mercy. Apostle Paul will say that this is a worthy saying, worthy for all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came to save sinners of whom I am chief. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. For when I ought to pray, yet I pray not. Show me mercy. Even this morning, some of us may just be remotely listening and saying nothing. But open your lips and say unto God, show me mercy. When I ought to speak up unto you, yet I say nothing. And sometimes I think that it is the point that we are that we should be able to come to God and ask him to show us mercy. A week ago I had a chat with someone. Then I said, can we pray? Because you haven't prayed in a while. And for the longest of time, this person just stayed on the phone and would not be able to open his mouth. And finally, when he opened his mouth, he was crying. He said, Father, show me mercy. It's been too long. For almost two years, I have not even opened my mouth to say a prayer to you. Show me mercy. I said, mercy is what we need. We are in need of it. That his mercy will draw us home. His mercy will strengthen us. His mercy will quicken us. When he has granted grace and we have frustrated it, for the grace you have given, and we have turned our back on that grace and sat down on that grace, show us mercy. Yes, Lord, show us mercy. For the mercy you have bestowed, yet, Lord, we continually turn our back. Show me yet another mercy this morning. Show us mercy. When we should be able to correct others, yet we kept our mouth shut and there have been distraction and things that have gone wrong. Lord Jesus, show me your mercy, Lord. Why should he give more grace? Why should he give more gifts unto us? When we just squandered and squandered and squandered, it is only because of his mercy. We say that, Lord, I have frustrated and I have thrown away your gifts. I have, you have given me precious things and as though you have cast your, your pearls before for swine. That's how it looks like. That I have trampled it in the mud. But Lord, I ask for mercy. It is for your mercy's sake that I come this morning. 
it is for the sake of your mercy that I come this morning. Show us mercy. Give unto me mercy. Yes, Lord Jesus. When he has opened the door and yet we refuse to walk through and we have stayed and stayed and stayed, why must he open the door again? And somebody say, your mercy, O God, open the door for me again, Lord. Your mercy, open the door for me again. When we have the opportunity to stand and, and to prophesy and to speak up, and to preach, and to draw others, and to convict, and to encourage others. And yet we have failed over, and over, and over, and over, and over again. Why should he not pass over us? But for his mercy, Inga Labrio, no son de Libriquet. And somebody says, show me mercy, Lord Jesus. Show me mercy this morning. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. When he has given unto us breath, yet we will not sing him a song, yet we will not lift up a praise unto him, yet we will not be able to do anything for him, but we will go about our own duty, forsaking and forgetting him. Why must he again? Somebody says, show me mercy. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord show us mercy. When he has sent us to speak forth unto, unto others, and we have kept back and not spoken, maybe out of fear. When out of fear we have turned our back and we have kept quiet, why must he give unto us another opportunity? It is because of his mercy. Jesus said that that man went home happier than the other. Why? Because he saw himself as one who had wasted grace. He saw himself as one who had turned his back. He saw himself as one who had frustrated grace. He saw himself as one who has defrauded. He saw himself as one who has cheated. He saw himself as one who has promised and delivered nothing in return. He saw himself as one who God has called and woken up time and time again. Yet he went back and back and back and slept. He saw himself as one that God has spoken to time and time again, yet he sat down and did nothing. But he lifted up his voice and said, show me mercy. Somebody be like that man, then that publican, and say, Lord, I am like that publican this morning, but nothing I can ask of you but your mercy. Your mercy find me. Your mercy open the door. Your mercy strengthen me. Your mercy light my path. Your mercy lift me up out of the merry clay. Your mercy hold me up. Your mercy strengthen me. Your mercy renew me. Your mercy pour for grace upon me. Your mercy hold me up. Your mercy keep me from stumbling. Your mercy open the door. Your mercy lift me up. Your mercy be like a song unto me. Your mercy encourage me. Your mercy stand me up. Your mercy enable me. Your mercy quicken me. Your mercy be like a, a, a balm upon my spirit. Your mercy liven me up. Your mercy put a laughter in my mouth. Your mercy, O oh God, be like a oh God and lift him bound. Then lift away the heavy cloak. Your mercy make the pathway plain. Your mercy strengthen me. Your mercy make me run where I have been still sitting still. Your mercy quicken me in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are the God of mercies. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, to you be praised this morning. Yes, Lord. Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning on the everlasting. 
Please let your spirit follow me. Live in the desert, I'll find pleasure. If in the valley, really don't care. I walk in the wilderness. Beloved, the, the Jeremiah, the prophet, in his lamentations, he says that his mercy are new every morning. Will you look at yourself and say, another opportunity has just been given unto me. His mercies are new every morning. His mercies are new every morning. Say that unto yourself that your mercies have just been renewed unto me this morning. Your mercies. Your mercies. Your mercies. The Lord used a certain word in the scripture in Luke that we read. He said, I tell you. I tell you. I tell you. This man went down to his house Not happy, no. Not excited, no. Not invigorated, no. Justified. It is as if time has not passed by. It is as if the Lord has not done it, yet you refuse to see It is as if you did not do that. It is as if you have not kept your mouth shut. It is as if you have just been enlisted anew. It is as if a new mandate is given. Somebody say, I receive a new mandate. Kaya, be also. Your mercy. His mercy gives a new mandate. His mercy bid you come as if you've not been there before. His mercy gives you a new plate. What would you write in it? His mercy gives you a new beginning. How would you begin it? His mercy sets you at the beginning of the race. How would you run it? Justified. He said, that man went home. I tell you, that man went home. Justified. Justified. Why? Because he embraced God's mercy. And somebody say that, open the door again, Lord. Somebody say that, pour the rain upon me again, Lord. And somebody say, pour your anointing upon me again, Lord. Somebody say, grant me that renewal again, Lord. Somebody say, grant me that strength again, Lord. Somebody say, wake me up again, Lord. Somebody say, put your hand in my hand, let's begin anew again, Lord. Somebody say that, hold my hands and walk with me, Lord. Somebody say that, embrace me, Lord, let's do it again. Somebody say, where I have sat and not seen it, Lord God, may I begin to move in you, Lord. Somebody say that, open my mouth, Lord, that I will speak for you again, Lord. Somebody say that, oh, open my eyes that I will see again, Lord. Lord Jesus, somebody say, where I have failed, may I succeed again, Lord. Where I have stumbled, may I run again, Lord. Your mercy, begin with me anew. Marabiono son talibriane katani yera se ten dilibricata nule crescete in the name of the Lord Jesus Tayando ngali biono son talibriane ke ye kale rebio inese nikli ketindo zuniane kaliane ke enable me again Lord remanio se ten dilibricata renew my strength again Lord marekliane mozen dilibricata ni se tende may I see a right Lord makra kenu wanios 
Medin di libri kata. May I laugh again. Re brandi zini mi kande le biane kata. May I rejoice again, Lord. Mara kandi libri ane kata sete niake. May I sit at the table, Lord. Me kresti li biono zundi krasete. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May I walk in the play in the path of the righteous again, Lord. Ye kresteni mi kande. Ye kali rimio zobondi kali ane. Ye na zeng eliono. Re na ro nini bi kate. Ye tisi ni mi koto si ni mi ke. Ye te zeng labio no se ni ono ko. Ye na zeng ono ke. Me I break through. Ye mandia re kandi li bi kata. Me I rabia ne kante le bia ne ke. Walk in the company of angels this morning. Ma rabia ne le kriane sa tendi li bi ke. Ye ko li re bia ni ne mozo. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Kanese ni he kali o re bandi zi ni mi ke. Me I lift up my head this morning. Ma kalere biande se tendi ke ni oso. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Kaneste ke le adi oso. Ndi anu. Every morning. New every morning, great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, great is thy faithfulness. Somebody sing and say, your mercies are new, they are new every morning, new every morning, great is thy faithfulness, O God gives us an attitude. That man went home justified. And may you step into the day justified. That Lord, I've just got a new beginning. It's as if I've just put on a new cloth. It's as if I've not rolled in the mud. It's as if I have not stood in a company of sinners, not sat in the seat of the scornful. It's as if I have not thrown away your grace and look at myself. It's as if I have not looked at myself and derided myself and looked down on myself and sat down and did nothing. But it's like a God standing in front of you and we get up, get going, let's go. We have work to do. Somebody have an attitude this morning that we have work to do. We have a race to run. We have a battle to fight. We have victory to win. The Lord Kriba Zune Mekalura Biosete Nioke Yan Desia. I'm on the winning side. I'm on the winning side. The Lord be glorified in me. And the Lord receive praise on account of me. He is worthy of his reward. Praise the Lord. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him in the firmaments. Praise Him, ye sun and moon, the bear of sun, that every anekayanda see. Praise the Lord, 
Oh ye ocean depths, Kayandi, Satayandia, and all creatures in the sea, praise the name of the Lord. Rabez Yonoko. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. For he has shown me mercy. Somebody tell all of creation and say, Praise the name of the Lord, for he has bestowed mercy upon me. Praise him. Praise him, for he has opened the door unto me again. Praise him, for he has given unto me a beginning anew again. Somebody say, Praise him, for he has tabernacle with me again. Praise him, for he has heard my prayer. Praise him, for he is my God. Praise him, for he is around me and put his arms around me again. Praise him. All of creation praise this God. The Lord bless you this morning, beloved, and keep you. The Lord, the King of glory, the Father of mercies, lift his countenance upon you and give you peace, perfect peace. Thing is will for your life. And all the saints shall say Amen.